What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is day number 19 of your momentum program, level four biceps, chest and back. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to day number 19 of your momentum program. We're almost there and today we're gonna go level four, biceps, chest, and back. So I really need you pushing hard today, using those heavy weights from the beginning to make sure you don't pace yourself and only go hard halfway through. We start off hard, you burn out maybe at the end and we've got some burnout circuits, but don't wait to go hard or to go heavy, okay? Grab your water and your sweat towel, and for myself, 32 weeks pregnant, I'm gonna be inclining my chest press and my chest flies. So you'll see my incline bench here. If you wanna pull that out, if you need it, you can. But as usual, not necessary. Um, for dumbbells, we've got things from chest fly and back fly, where I'll do 10 or 15 pounds all the way up to your chest press and your single arm rows. For myself, those weights are between 20 and 30 pounds. So pick weights that work for you in those ranges of exercises. And if you're ready, let's get warmed up, all right? Big arm cross right over your chest. Three, two, one, let's go. Good job. Big deep breath in. Go ahead, get ready for some good work today. We'll isolate chest and then we'll isolate back and then we'll isolate biceps. And then we'll go down into our burnouts. All right, turn it over, face the side. Big single arm backwards fly. Three exercises per muscle group in the beginning. And switch. And then the burnouts will have some kind of um, rep combos. So doing two reps of something and then two reps of something else. Switch sides, big backward circle. Nice work. Switch directions. There you go. Three, two, one, and then arms past your body. Keep your core right here and big reach without bending your arms. Three, two, and one. Good. Hinge forward so you're folded in half. Tuck your chin, just lift your back up a little bit, stretch around your shoulder blades. <sighs> Great job. Hands down to the floor, let's go into a pike position and then make your way down to your knees. All right, cross your left arm under your body, touch the floor, come back up, shoot it to the side, touch the floor. So your shoulder's just going down and down again. Nice work. One more each side. Down, push up, down, and switch arms. Here we go. Tuck it under to stretch the back, and then take it out to the side, stretch your chest and bicep. Good, look away from your arm. That's it, and last one, come up on your hands and knees, just turning your fingertips back towards your knees a little bit. Let's stretch out your forearms. Gentle bend. Great job, not a lot of pressure on this, just very easy here. Good, turn your hands back forward. Take your left arm out to the side and bend it, and let's squeeze your shoulder blade back. Four. Three, two, one, switch arms, same thing. Squeeze five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, come on up to standing. I just like to activate your muscles there a little bit, make that mind-muscle connection with your back. Now let's rock into our first circuit. Three chest exercises. We've got push-ups, we've got chest press, alternating arms, and we've got a chest fly. So we start with push-ups in eight seconds, okay? If you wanna go incline, that's fine. A nice wide stance right here. Two, one, let's get it. 45 seconds. Nice work. 
Taking your elbows about 45 degrees out from your chest. To modify, you can drop down to an incline full body. If you need to modify from there, incline and knees. And this is a great warm up for your chest press. 15 more seconds. Four, two, one. Good job, chest press, alternating left arm, right arm. Let's go, four, three, two, one, and we're off. Both arms start up top. Just drop one at a time. Good job, make sure your dumbbell is sitting across your hand, resting in the outer edge of your palm. That's it, 15. Two, one, rest. Good job, and now chest fly. Okay, so laying it down, lighter weight, open, squeeze. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, open it up, round it out. There you go, feel that stretch when you get out there, okay? Right around your ribs, not your shoulders or your head. <sighs> nice work, 15 seconds. And we're gonna go three rounds of these three, so I need you to increase the weight here in round two. Make it a little tougher on yourself. Level four type effort, like we've been saying all week. Two, one, rest. Good job, we're back to push-ups. I'm gonna reposition this guy really quickly. Back to your push-ups, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Beautiful job. Just making sure you're pushing into the outer edges of your hand. Flex your core and your legs, come on. Exhale, big push, you've got 15 seconds left here in round two of your push-ups, let's go. Nice, five, four, Two, one, and rest. Good job. All right, alternating chest press. Can you go heavier? I want you to try it. Start with both arms up top. Lower one at a time. Two, one, let's go. And you can do the same thing on the floor, obviously. If you're on the floor, make sure your shoulder blades are kind of pinched together so that your chest is spread a little bit further open. Just experiencing a little bit more of a stretch before your elbows hit the ground. Fifteen, come on. Two, one, good job. Chest fly. Here we go. Let's close out round two. Great job. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go.
Nice work. Have a little pause out at the side and then squeeze like you're driving your elbows back together. Meet over your chest, not your face. 15. Don't bend your elbows too soon either. Just trying to give you lots of cues here. Two, one. All right, let's go. Last round of all three. You gotta turn it up here. This is level four. Last chest and biceps and back workout of this program. Show yourself how much stronger you've gotten. Three, two, one, go. Give me more reps here without stopping. Give me a cue form for yourself. Core tight, legs tight. I'm just a moving plank right now. Pushing the ground away from my chest. Nice work. 20 seconds. Fifteen. Five, four, give me one more all together. Three, two, one. Great work. Done with push ups. We're moving chest press. Last round. Three, two, let's go. If you're going heavier, good focus on your form. Come on, 15 more seconds. Don't stop or slow down. Five. Two, one, good. Whew. All right, chest fly, last round. Go up if you can, but good form here. Big stretch, three, two, one, come on. And then we're done with chest for a little while, so make it count. Come on, move, move, move. Stretch and squeeze. Ten. Rest. Beautiful job. You've got 45 seconds to rest here. Whew. Get yourself set up for back exercises. Left arm row, right arm row, and back flies. For me, I'm gonna stabilize here on my bench. Okay, so we'll go 45 seconds here, 45 seconds here, 45 seconds here. Okay, so let's get to it. Actually, let's go in five seconds. We're ready. We are ready, we got this. Three, two, one, single arm row. Come on, let's rock, 45. Just one arm at a time. Good job, 12, 11. Three, two, one, 15 seconds rest and you're going right over to the other arm, okay? This is your chance to grab water too if you didn't get to in your rest, if you're getting your dumbbells ready. Five seconds and we go. You're doing great. Three, two, one, come on.
Good work. Here we go. 15 seconds down. Squeeze that shoulder blade back into the middle of your spine. Don't twist your torso. Think of all the beautiful strong muscles in your back turning on for you right now. 13. One more, three, two, one. Good, lighter weights, similar to what you use for chest fly for your back flies. And you can also alternate these, okay? Hinge here, squeeze back. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna alternate mine as well. We've got three rounds of these three, so now you know what's coming for the next six more minutes. Nice work. Keep your strong focus. Eight, seven. Two, one. All right, great job. Round number two. We're back to left arm rows. All right. Let's go. Three, two. One, here we go. Good work. Squeeze that shoulder blade back. One more. Two. One. Great job. Whew. I'm gonna go down to my hands and knees for these next, the next round and my other arm. Just to give you another example of how to stabilize here. Okay. Whew. Right arm, let's go. Two. One, and we're off. So if you're on the ground, it's often a lot easier to have your other stabilizing hand here, or even just a little bit higher to give you that full range of motion. Okay, so just make it work for yourself. Whatever surface you're on, shoulder blades and hips stay flat, so not too much rotation either way. Great job, 12 seconds. And rest, good. Back flies. Let's close out round number two. Focus here on thinking your shoulder blades are going back together, not up. Back and together. Two, one, let's go. If you're doing one arm at a time, you're making sure that they're going towards each other still. Okay, just make sure you don't come up before or ever, before you go back. <laughs> Only time you ever need to do any type of elevating shoulder move is specifically working your traps for something like a shrug. Great work, 13. Work hard, let's go, let's go. Three, two, one, and rest. Last round, if you've got anything left in your back muscles, turn it up, get a heavier dumbbell. Rest less, whatever you can do. I need to know you're working as hard as you can. You deserve that. This is level four, it's just all about showing yourself what you can do because you've worked so hard. Let's go.
Nice work, 15 seconds. Come on, pull, 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 pull. Three, two, and rest for 15. Great work. Whew. Swing it over to the other arm. Last single arm row here on our right arm. For me, it's right arm. Whatever your second arm is for you, let's go. Squeeze back, not up. Two, one, come on. Stay connected to your deep core. Don't let your back round either way. Fifteen. Nice work. Nine, eight, come on, just a couple more. Give me all you can out of this 45 second work period. Three, two, one. Good work. All right, let's finish it out with your flies. You're doing amazing. Squeeze back. And if you need to slow this down, do it. I want you to feel it. Let's go. Nice work. Close your eyes if you need to. Really connect. Elbow draws back. 15. Good job, let's go. Five. Three, two, one. And rest. <laughs> Amazing job. Grab some water. We're moving on to biceps. Whew. All right, single arm curls and then alternating curls. So you've got hammer curls. Left arm first, and we're gonna isolate, okay? So left arm first. I want you to come up, slow down. Three, two, one. As soon as it hits your thigh, up. Three, two, one, okay? We're gonna go in eight seconds. I'm gonna start with my 15s. So that's left arm and then right arm and then alternating supinated. Two, one, let's go. Power up. Three, two, one, up. Good job. So I never want you fully resting down here at the bottom. Squeeze, and then slowly release that squeeze. You wanna add a little extra core involvement to this? Just lift your outside leg off the ground. But stay focused here, this is your main priority. Good, 15 seconds. One more. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. Whew. Other arm, same exact exercise. Come up, squeeze here. Three, two, one. As soon as you get right here, go up again. Two, one, let's go. Good job, there's only so many curl variations we can do with our biceps, so the way that we really train them is tempo training like this. Three, two, one. Eliminating a little bit of the range of motion. We're increasing the range of motion. It's just varying your variables, I guess I should say. 15. Which you don't have to worry about that, that's all on me. That's me as your trainer. I'll switch that stuff up for you. Three, two, 
One. All right, two dumbbells now. You're here. Open your palms up to the front. Supinated. All right, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Release one and switch. And a lot of this will have timing influence as well. So if they meet in the middle and cross, you're moving them at a pretty consistent rate. Fifteen. Four, three, two, rest. Okay, two more rounds of that. If you've got anything in your tank where you can turn it up a little bit, we're back to the left arm. Three, two, one, let's go. Try that heavier weight. The lighter weight is right there. If you need to drop down, it's gonna take you three seconds. It's better to get some more reps in with a heavier weight than just to do all safe reps. We're not here for safe, you're here for change, right? You're here for stronger. Push into that level of this is not comfortable, this is not easy. That's where change happens. 15. Four, three, two, one. Oh, rest and switch. Oh, you got 12 seconds. Good job. Let's go. Show yourself you can. Be willing to try, be willing to fail. Fail. Forward, three, two, one, go. Get the squeeze and slowly release. Good job, you got 15. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, good job. See, even on that one, I thought I'll start with my 20s and I'll drop down to 15s when I burn out. I lasted the whole time with my 20s. Keep pushing yourself. You never know how strong you are until you push yourself past what you think you're capable of. Alternating, two, one, let's go. Come on, get into your zone. Good job. That's it. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, last round. You gotta start with something heavier than you've done so far. Even if you do one rep, then drop down. Do it. Do that one rep. Oh, let's go. Four. Come on, I'm with you. Three, two, one, big curl, slow release. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's it, you've got 15 more seconds, come on. Make it last, make it worth it. You've been working hard and it's showing right now. Keep proving yourself. Six. Two, 
One. Oh, good work. Other arm, same thing. Start with something heavier than you've done all day. And don't go into it saying, ah, probably won't be able to do it. Go into it saying, I'm gonna do more than I think I can. Two, one, let's go. Breathe, 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 let's go. Fifteen. Four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Pick up the tempo of these last curls right here, okay? This one, I'm okay if you don't do your heaviest. I'm okay if you do what you've done so far, but you pick up that tempo. Let's go. There you go, good tempo. Up, switch up. And give me just a slight forward lean here. Okay, so you're not here resting. Good, pick it up a little bit more. 15, let's go. Speed it up for six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my gosh. Okay, swing your arms around for a second. You've got three two minute burnouts. Okay, focusing on different moves, different muscle groups, I mean. We'll rest in between, but we're gonna start just like we started with our chest. Two wide push-ups, two or three dumbbell pushes, okay? So you're gonna have a lighter dumbbell down here on the ground with you. I'm gonna grab my 10. All right, and we'll go in 13 seconds. So you've got two push-ups, nice and wide. Roll into the outer edges of your hand, one, Two, walk it back. Three, two, one, okay? Grab that weight, two minutes on the clock. Let's go. Driving your hands through this dumbbell. You could also hold a weight plate or something that's flat, but you're just pushing your palms together as hard as you can. And then a wide push up. Good job, first minute done. Come on, push. Drive your hands through this weight. Thirty seconds, let's go. Don't stop, don't stop, 20. Push harder together through your hands. <sighs> Wherever you're at, right here, 10 more seconds, let's go. Three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful, that's your chest. We're moving on, four rows, two supermen. Okay, so you're coming into a quadruped position. You go four, three, two, 
one, or you can go two per arm. Okay, one, two, three, four. Then you lower down to your stomach if you can. Superman, back hyper. Squeeze your glutes and your back to come up. If you can't go to your stomach, you've got one and two. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go, two and two. Two minutes on the clock. And you're looking for 3.30 left. Good, keep moving, come on. Woo. Good rows here. First minute is done, we're on to minute number two now. Come on, increase your weight in the rows if you can. Do something to make minute two tougher. You work harder. That's it, you've got less than 30 seconds to go. Finish strong, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. And you've got a bicep curl drop set. That's what we're ending with. So start with the weight you can do, three reps max, okay? Put it here, and then just work your way down in terms of dumbbells. If you have adjustable dumbbells, just start with the weight that you believe you can do, three reps max. You might surprise yourself, but start with a weight that pushes you, okay? Whew. So let's go in five seconds. We're ready for it. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Whatever curls you would like, hammer curls, regular open supinated curls. And just work your way down only when you fail, okay? You don't have to just do three. You only move down in weights when you fail. And you don't pause a lot in between your reps. This one, yeah, we're gonna do three minutes. Whew, we're going for three minutes. 40 seconds already down, so just think of it that way. Good job, first minute done. Good, keep your chest up. Breathe. You're over halfway home. A minute 20 to go. Last minute, right here. Crank it out. You gotta speed it up, that's fine. If you're running out of dumbbells, give me a quicker tempo. Give me less rest at the bottom. Something about 
45. There you go. Rest less. Come on, get down, pull. 30 seconds, come on. Twenty. All the way through. Speed it up. Stop less. Come on, ten more seconds. Go, go, go. Speed it up a little more. Five. Three, two, one, and breathe. Hands on your knees. <sighs> You've made it to your cool down. Oh, stay standing here. Lift your hands up overhead, grab onto your wrist and pull. <sighs> Amazing job. You've made it through biceps, chest and back, level four. And I hope your effort today indicated Yes, I'm worth this time. Yes, I'm stronger than I started this program. Pull switch. Level four is also always about working hard, but it's also about showing yourself what you can do because you've worked hard. All right, and the harder you work, the more you're able to see that progress in yourself. Flip your hands down, pull the fingers back. Yeah, I'm gonna acknowledge again that I've challenged you a little bit more each week. So if each week you felt like this is heavier, why is this not getting easier? Because the challenge was getting harder. Maybe your weights that you used stayed consistent. I challenged you more. So here at level four, you take this workout and you do it in level or in week number one, it would not have been as easy as it was today. Not saying it was easy, but you would have struggled a bit more. But because you worked so hard on this strength all month, you're able to crush this workout. And I know you're feeling good right now. Good, cross your arm over your chest, look over that shoulder. Very proud of you. We have one more workout left in this program and I wanna see you posting all over your social. Today, tomorrow, I'm finishing up the Momentum program. We're not done, we're gonna keep rocking. Okay, your new program details will be coming out soon so make sure you stay tuned for that. But as for this program right now, stay here, stay in it. Stay working at level four for today and tomorrow. And I ask you to share on your socials and share with your friends because I know a lot of people have vacations, they have weddings, they have baby showers, they have a lot of things coming up that they wanna get ready for. They wanna walk into feeling confident and I wanna be there for them. I wanna be the trainer that shows them, yeah, you can do these workouts anywhere, okay? Grab your hands and round your back a little bit and just push forward, stretching out your back right between your shoulder blades. You take these to the gym, you check, take them on vacation, do them at home. Wherever you wanna do these workouts, you can do them anywhere. And I just wanna make sure fitness is accessible to everyone all over the world. Last stretch. Grab onto a wall, put your palm here, look away from it. Okay, and as you stretch here, just think about how proud you are of yourself. Think about someone that you are maybe not even knowing, maybe they've never told you, but just by living your life, your truth, you're inspiring them to do the same. Okay, and you may not know right off the bat, but if you've got people in your corner that are noticing, you're working out, you're doing great, you're looking strong, okay? Even if they don't ever acknowledge it, you living in the way that you're living inspires people and lets them know, here's your permission to do what's best for you in terms of your health and your strength. Switch arms, people just need to see that. You don't have to be preachy, you don't have to be showing up on YouTube every day for people yelling at them to strength train. <laughs> But just living in the way that you're living, people need to see more examples of people like you. So keep doing this. It's for yourself and it should always be number one for you, primarily. And make sure that you are your own priority. But by living in the way that you are living, working out, drinking water, making sure you're getting great food in your body, getting rest. People, the younger generation of you needs to see this. They need to see this normalized and they need to know healthy is so, so powerful, okay? It's not always only about aesthetics and those are so incredibly gratifying and they should be a part of your goal if you want that for yourself. But also it's the way that you feel. It's the way that you show up. It's the way that you present yourself to every situation that you come to. Knowing I am presenting the best version of me because I take care of me and everyone benefits from that. So I'll see you back here tomorrow. Make sure you finish out this program strong with me. I'm very proud of you today. Lock this workout in with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Comment below, I am my priority. And I'll see you tomorrow. 
awesome work today. I am so proud of you for pushing so hard. If you want a little bit more work, I've linked a video right over here for you. Don't forget to stretch your body with the stretch video that I link down here every day for you. And subscribe to the channel and share these workouts with your friends. I'll see you tomorrow.